In this video, I'll be going over color channels in GIMP. Now, every single digital image that exists is comprised of some combination of the colors red, green, and blue. And GIMP allows you to work with these channels on an individual basis. If you come over here and click on the Channels tab, which is located right next to the Layers tab. If you don't have it available, you can go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and look for Channels, which is right there, and it should open up. But by default, it should be right next to Layers. And if you notice here, we have three different channels. We have the red, green, and the blue, and they're all, de they're all selected by default. Now, if I turn off, if I turn off the, the uh, visibility of the red channel, all we are left with is green and blue. If I turn off the visibility of the green channel, we're left with red and blue. And likewise, if I turn off blue, we're left with red and green. If I turn off everything but the red channel, we are left with only red, only green, and only blue. So one thing I want to direct your attention to is over here, these little icons. If you notice, it's probably hard to see. There's tiny little icons next to each of these channels that indicate where the red light is and where there's no red light. And to help you see it better, I'm going to split this image up into three different, three separate images by color. I'm going to go to Colors, um, Components, and Decompose. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it's going to give me three new images with each of the channels separated. So this is the red channel here. This is the green channel, and this is the blue channel. Now how this works is, this is the red channel here. Everything that you see in this image that has white in it represents red light. And everything that's black represents no red light. Same thing over here. Everything that's green, I mean everything that's white represents green light, and everything that's black represents no green light. And then same thing over here with blue. So what I could do is I could actually take this image and strip away all of the color information and recompile the color data in this image using these three channels right here. And I'll demonstrate that for you now. I'm going to go to Edit, Copy Visible, and I'm going to paste it as a new image. Paste as New Image. And if you notice over here, um, we have our three different channels. We have an alpha channel as well. Alpha channel just represents the transparent layer. If I were to erase some of this image, there would be transparency beneath it like that. So that's what that channel represents. Uh, I'm just going to ignore that for this video though. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this down to just grayscale. I'm going to go to colors, saturation, and I'm going to remove all of the color data in there and click OK. Now if you notice now, all of my three channels, the red, green, and blue channel, they all look the same. So I'm going to add color back into this image using just these three channels that I previously opened up. I'm going to come over here to the red channel. I'll go to Edit, Copy Visible. I'll come back over here to this tab. Um, actually, no, this one over here. This is our image. And I'm going to select just the red channel. So I have just the red channel selected. And if I go to Edit, Paste you'll notice it pasted the red data back into that channel there. But if you notice, there's a little, there's some blue in there as well. The reason why that's there is because the opposite of red is cyan. Let me show you what I mean here. We have our three different colors, red, green, and blue. The opposite of red is cyan. So in order to remove red from an image, we have to add cyan. Same thing with green. The opposite of green is magenta, and the opposite of blue is yellow. So that's why you're seeing cyan in here, because it is the opposite of red. But the thing is, it doesn't exist on the red channel. It exists on these other channels. So if I turn off the visibility of the green and the blue channel, we're seeing just red there. So that's how that works. Uh, and if you notice here, I have this as a floating layer in just the red channel. If I, play, if I pasted it in the green channel as well, we end up with different colors. We end up with like green flowers and a purple sky. And the same thing if I just post it in the blue, the, uh, the blue channel, we end up with the yellow sky and some lavender color uh, flowers there. So let me come back over here. I'm going to click on this, I'm going to click on my layers menu, and I'm going to anchor this layer down so that it's now finalized in the red channel. I'm going to come back over here to my green channel, and I'm going to go to Edit, Copy Visible, and I'll come back over here, I'll, I'll select just the green channel, and I'll go to Edit, Paste, and now we've added our green channel back, and I just want to come back over here and anchor the layer down. And then we'll come back over here, finally, I'm going to select just the blue channel, and I'll grab my blue channel image, Edit, Copy Visible, and edit paste and let me just come back over here and anchor this down and as you can see we have completely recompiled the colors in this image using just the, the data from the three uh, RGB channels that I was previously working with in the other image over here and if you notice this image and this image they're identical there's no difference between them whatsoever so another thing you can do is if you click on these channels over here I have the blue channel selected you can add blue light to the image by grabbing a white paintbrush and painting white. And if you notice, I'm adding blue light to the image there. And you can remove blue light by using black. 
like that. If you notice, I'm removing blue. And like I mentioned before, the opposite of blue is yellow. So you're seeing more yellow in the image now. And the same thing over here. If you select two different channels at once, you can do that as well. Let me make this brush a little bigger. You could select two different uh, channels. And I'm now going to remove, I'm going to use black. Remember, black removes and white adds. Black is going to remove both the green and the blue channel. And it should be painting in, or it should be left with just red here as I do that. You'll notice I am removing the green and the blue channels by painting it in with black. And then I could add it back in using white. But if you notice, it doesn't look the same there. If you look in the icons, uh, the preview icons, it looks a lot, of it looks, uh, a lot different than uh, it previously did in these uh, channel images here. So let me go ahead and undo that. And I think that should do it for this video. That is the basics of working with color channels in GIMP.